Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into an important topic, the whole cell vaccine. Vaccines are essential tools in preventing and controlling infectious diseases, and the whole cell vaccine is one of the earliest and most traditional forms of vaccination. So, let's get started. What is whole cell vaccine? Whole cell vaccines are a type of vaccine that use the entire, inactivated form of the pathogen to stimulate an immune response in the body. These vaccines involve the isolation and inactivation of the pathogen, which is then formulated into a vaccine. When administered, whole cell vaccines induce the immune response that generates antibodies and memory cells to provide protection against future encounters with the live pathogen. Which process convert a pathogen into a whole cell vaccine? Converting a pathogen into a whole cell vaccine typically involves following process. Inactivation. Inactivation refers to the process of making a pathogen non-infectious and unable to cause disease. It involves treating the pathogen with physical or chemical methods that destroy its ability to replicate and harm the host while preserving its antigenic properties. Commonly employed methods to inactivate pathogens include chemicals such as formaldehyde, beta-propylactone, binary ethylenamine and heat inactivation to expose pathogens at higher temperature. Inactivation is a crucial step in the development of killed vaccines, ensuring their safety while still triggering an immune response in the body. What is the purpose of whole cell vaccines? The purpose of whole cell vaccines is to stimulate the immune system by introducing the entire, inactivated form of a pathogen. These vaccines are designed to provide protection against specific infectious diseases. The main objectives of whole cell vaccines are Disease prevention. The primary goal of whole cell vaccines is to prevent the occurrence of infectious diseases. By exposing the immune system to the entire pathogen, the vaccine stimulates an immune response that produces antibodies and memory cells. This immune response helps to recognize and neutralize the live pathogen if the vaccinated individual is exposed to it in the future, reducing the risk and severity of the disease. Inducing immunity. Whole cell vaccines aim to induce both humoral immunity, involving antibodies, and cell-mediated immunity, involving T-cells. These vaccines trigger the production of antibodies that can bind to and neutralize the pathogen, as well as activate immune cells that directly eliminate the pathogens. By stimulating a broad immune response, whole cell vaccines can provide comprehensive protection against the targeted disease. Building Immune Memory Whole cell vaccines help establish immune memory, which is the ability of the immune system to remember and respond more effectively to a specific pathogen upon re-exposure. The immune memory allows for a faster and stronger immune response, often preventing the development of symptomatic or severe disease in subsequent infections. Public health impact. Whole cell vaccines have played a crucial role in reducing the incidence and burden of infectious diseases globally. These vaccines have been instrumental in controlling and even eradicating certain diseases, contributing to improved public health outcomes and saving lives. What are the examples of whole cell vaccines? Certainly. Here are some examples of whole cell vaccines. Pertussis, whooping cough, vaccine. The whole cell pertussis vaccine, also known as the DTP, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, vaccine, contains inactivated bordetella pertussis bacteria. It is often administered in combination with vaccines for diphtheria and tetanus. Cholera vaccine. Cholera vaccines, such as Ducoral and Shankol, are whole cell vaccines composed of inactivated Vibrio cholerae bacteria. They help prevent cholera, a severe diarrheal disease caused by consuming contaminated food or water. Plague vaccine. The whole cell plague vaccine, also known as the killed or inactivated Yersinia pestis vaccine, offers protection against bubonic and pneumonic plague. It contains inactivated Yersinia pestis bacteria. Please note that the availability and usage of specific whole cell vaccines may vary depending on the country and the prevalence of the targeted diseases. It's always important to consult healthcare professionals or refer to local health authorities for the most accurate and up-to-date information on vaccines. Conclusion In conclusion, whole cell vaccines have been an essential tool in the prevention and control of infectious diseases. By utilizing the entire, inactivated form of a pathogen, these vaccines stimulate a broad immune response, including the production of antibodies and the activation of immune cells. Whole cell vaccines not only provide protection against specific diseases but also establish immune memory, enabling the immune system to respond more effectively upon subsequent exposure to the live pathogen. And that's a wrap on our explanation of the whole cell vaccine. 
We hope you found this video informative and gained a deeper understanding of this traditional form of vaccination. As always, stay curious and keep learning.